Bandwidth here, and it's that time again. Time to take these obsolete devices to the technology graveyard. Oh no! <gasps> technology graveyard? I think I'm gonna be sick. Addison, you scared me. Am I going to this technology graveyard too? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Brayden? No, I guess not. What about these guys? I got specific orders to recycle them. And lose all of their tech wisdom? Tech wisdom? What tech wisdom can this old keyboard have? My mother was a super smart desktop with a keyboard just like that, and she taught me how to connect to Wi-Fi. I guess I could find a way to save them. Think, Bryden, think. I got it! What if we can use these items to make some amazing jewelry? Yes! This is gonna be hashtag AmazeBlogs. What can I make out of an old keyboard? I know! I'll make a keyboard ring! Yes! Michaela always has the cutest rings! First, place glue on the back of the keyboard key. Next, attach the keyboard key to a ring. Let it set, then bam! Keyboard ring! B for BBIE. Big, beautiful, industrial electronics? Brighton's best idea ever! Oh yeah! That totes makes sense! Stretchy cord, stretchy cord. What can I make with a stretchy cord? A necklace! What about a sign that says Michaela and Addison BFX? Let's cover the entire cord with washi tape. This color is going to go so well with my outfit. Next, let's add a fun pendant. Then, grab one end and coil it into the opposite side of the cord. And, hashtag instant fashion. I think I'm going to use this cassette tape for a... <gasps> a Michaela and Addison BFF mixtape! <gasps> Genius! How about a belt? First, take an old belt and cover the buckle with glue. Then, place the cassette tape on top of the belt. Wait until it's completely dry, and you've got yourself a cute new accessory. Talk about taking your music on the go. You can decorate it with rhinestones, paint, glitter, or whatever you want. Ooh, super chic. Uh, does it come in my size? I'm totes ready for fashion week. Send me your pictures of your recycled tech jewelry. See you next time. Project MC Square. We got Bryden. I know. I downloaded the new upgrades this morning. This dance game is so BFATA. Here, I'll send you some pics. No. No. Ugh. Definitely no. Who knew taking dancing selfies would be so hard? If only there were an easier way to take pics and dance at the same time. Wait a minute! The solution's been staring at me the whole time! Using the science of closed circuits, I'm pretty sure I can make a dancing photo booth! Remember how I made that totes awesome banana piano? I used a process called closing a circuit. Because humans can conduct electricity, when we touch the banana, electricity that flowed from the circuit board to the banana continued through our arms and back to the circuit board. Bam! A closed circuit! The same science that applies here. First, connect the circuit board kit to the laptop. Put the first alligator clip to your right hand. Secure the other alligator clip to your left hand using your rubber band but make sure that the metal isn't touching your skin. Open the photo booth app on your laptop and clap your hands, take a pic. Totes easy, right? <gasps> it's working! Hashtag AmazeVlogs! Now, for the best part. Hit it, DJ! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely LTFAS. Now, let's take it up a notch. Yes, yes, OMG! BPE! Best pick ever! <laughs> this one is definitely my fave. Or is it this one? I know, I'll just upload both! Thanks for watching another episode of Bryden's Tech Beat. Project MC Square! Lights, camera, action! Hello, I said lights. Totes better. Bryden Van Wet here with another episode of Bryden's Tech Beat. Helping me out in the lab today is Adrian Adams! Hola, chicas! So, Adrian, what's the first super cool thing that comes to mind when you hear the word light? Oh, oh, I know! Light! Because when I hear the word light, I think of the speed of light and how totes fab it would be if Wi-Fi could travel at the speed of light. Then, I would only have to wait 209,792,458 meters per second for a fix to upload. That would be pretty brilliant! Right? <sighs> WHTCUWMB. Okay. 
Well, we may not be able to use light to speed up technology, but we can use it to kick our picks up a notch using light painting. It's a technique that involves moving a light source while taking a long exposure photograph. There are tons of easy to use apps that you could download on your phone to take your pics from boring to hashtag amaze blogs. Let's do it. Open the app in your phone and make sure the distance between you and the camera is 6.5 feet. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, and a half. Next, get your light source ready. And for the final but most important step. Always follow the recipe. Make sure you're in a dark room. Potero papitas. And for the best moment of them all, it's time to watch some tapes and super cool fix. Stand back, Adrian. This might get TCTH. Let's do this. Lights off. Lights on. <laughs> Let's take a look. I would never! Brighton's tech rule number 201. Tech and water do not mix. Hmm. What about silly faces in tech? Now you're talking. Thanks for watching another episode of Brighton's Tech Beat. And thanks to Adrian for being my awesome photographer today. No hay de qué. Don't forget to try light painting at home. Adios, amigos. See ya. Project MC Square. Hiya, Bryden Van Wes here, and welcome to another episode of Bryden's Tech Beat. I'm just here getting my gear together for a super top secret spy mission. Let's see. Phone, check. iPad, check. Backpack, backpack. Where's my backpack? Oh no, this cannot be happening to me right now. Think, Bryden, think. Where can I get a bag that's totes functional and totes cute? I don't think so. I know, I'll make my own. A fabulous jelly tech bag. I'll prove to you that you don't have to sacrifice fashion in the name of technology. We're gonna need soap dye, buttons, soap, waterproof super glue, and the star of the show, this PVC material. You could find all of this at your local craft store. First, draw a rectangle onto two sheets of the PVC material using a piece of paper. Or you could use the paper as a guide to draw wavy lines like me. Then cut them out. Draw another rectangle onto two more sheets of the PVC material. Then draw triangles so it looks like there's a pyramid sitting right on top of the rectangle. Then cut these two larger pieces out. Glue the two smaller cutouts together and the two larger cutouts together. And make sure you leave an opening at the top to pour this open. In a small cup, mix your soap and soap dye together. Then, pour a small amount of soap into both pieces. Make sure to push out all the air bubbles. Then, seal the opening with glue. Finally, glue the two pieces together, fold the flap over, and we're done! Ta-da! TCTKTM! Wonder what else I can fit in. You want to put me in what? In my jelly tech pad. This is going to be just like that time I was dropped in a puddle. Tech and water? That's totes my worst nightmare. Mine too. I guess I could give it a try. Whoa, this is pretty roomy. See, I told you. Your bag is totes adorbs. I know, I should totally go tweet about it. Thanks for watching, see ya. Project MC Square.